Lassa FIFA don't kill 16 people for Ondo and four inside Kano State. President Buhari don't condemn the killing of Khan chairman inside Adamawa where Boko Haram terrorists do. Supreme Court don't tell governors for Benue and Adamawa states say make them carry go. States for Southwest don't do peaceful waka to support oppression and Motekun. Nakaja afternoon, my country people, and welcome to As It Take Happen for this hour. My name is Nana Douglas, and for the first story we carry come for now, they don't confirm say 16 people don't kaput sake of Lassa fever with showing ugly face for Ondo State. The state chief epidemiologist, meaning uh, person way Sabi on top of the disease, Dr. Stephen Fagbemi, now revealed this one for Tuesday when he debriefed Governor Rotimi Akredolu and other local government chairmo from Ondo North and Central Senatorial District inside the state. He talks that since January 1, 2020, they don't report 84 cases so far. According by Dr. Stephen, 16 people don't already kaput, sick of say their case don't already pass, be careful before they bring them come hospital. He asked say 47 people where they for admission, they respond to treatment, even as they don't they treat and discharge 21 other people. And still on top of this Lassa fever badness, inside Kano State, with the hear say this morning, they don't confirm say one medical doctor said he don't kaput inside the Aminu Kano Teaching Hospital for for Kano State. And sake of this one, they don't bring the number of people with Lassa FIFA kill inside the state to four. But Shapali make we join Wazobia Max TV correspondent Dumebi Odumegu as he just join us to give us update, especially within the state government they do on top of this one. Good afternoon, Dumebi. Okay, um, as a will bless, we'll come back to her later as she set up matter on top of uh, the report. President Muhammad Buhari don't strongly condemn the one where we say Boko Haram people killed the Chiamo of Christian Association of Nigeria Khan inside Michika local government area for Adamawa State, Lawan and Dimi, even as President Buhari described what Boko Haram do as wickedness. He said they don't behave like human beings at all, and what they do, they, do, they provoke people. On top one statement where President Buhari made through his senior special assistant on top media and publicity, Garba Shehu, he tell countries for the world, say make them withdraw support whether they give Boko Haram an Islamic state inside West Africa, Iswa, terrorist group, where they say their work now to the kill, to, to, to steal and to destroy things inside African region. The president sent a sympathy message to Christian community, Ubunge government and good people for Adamawa State, plus including family of bishop, sake of the killing of the man of God. And now so he can't give assurance, say, the terrorists go, go continue to pay heavy price for the badness within they do, and the Nigerian soldiers will surely win the fight against Boko Haram. Unafit remember, say, Boko Haram being kidnapped Reverend Andimi for January 2, when they show face inside the community to do badness attack then killed the reverend and one soldier man for Monday. And for another... Um, but uh, I'd like to say our correspondent for Kano, she done this set to talk to us on top. Lassa Fever, we showing ugly face for the state. Good afternoon, Dumebi. Good afternoon, Dumebi. If you don't hear me, um, what did happen for... Um, Kano State on top of the Lassa FIFA, where I hear, we hear say you don't kaput people for the state. Do maybe they hear me? Okay, still, uh, we believe it's a technical issue. For the next story, Nigerian Union of Journalists don't call federal government, say make them provide Kajat security for journalists as then they do their work. NUJ President Chris is easy guzo. Now he yarned this one for Tuesday inside Yola, Adamawa State, when he did yarn for the burial of one journalist, Maxwell Nation, where they kill. Easy guzo talks say, with the killing of Nation, it don't show say true, true. Journalists, where they work inside the country, know they safe again. He can call federal government and state government, say, make them put some kind plans in place where will help protect journalists' life and make them make sure say, they provide cardiac security inside the country. 30 year old journalist Nation been the work with Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria where every every know as FRCN inside Yola 
And now people will carry guns where they never still know their face. Now then Kaputam for Wednesday, 15th January, 2020. Okay, do maybe good afternoon. Okay, what you going to tell us about uh, the Lassa FIFA where don't, uh, we hear say it don't enter Kano State and it don't keep uh, four people on top of the level, even as we we'll sympathize with the uh, people of Kano State and the Kano State government uh, on top of this matter. What do you going to tell us about the update or what in the state government they do on top of this level? Well, uh, this morning, the State Commissioner for Health, Nabi Dr. Ibrahim Aminu Sanyawa, as him the young give to you people, he talks say now two cases, now they don't confirm it, so seen a last half ever. Three people that already died, two doctors will operate on the woman, they carry the teen enter inside the camera. And he said that the laboratory will be Gadua reference laboratory inside Abuja. So now yesterday, nine they was come confirm it, say the samples will send it, then test positive to last half ever. He got one talk say 292 people now we don't get contact one or two ways with all those people we don't buy nine on daily now say they want to track them to see say them back we go and then they on top of the situation. He got come out the advisement beginning of the public. He said no panic because the Kano state government now they do every every to see say them arrange everything to control the situation. He got talk say they already they open some of their agencies and some of their laboratories and even their rapid response team and the government drops all kind of numbers maybe say anybody will you say but you just did you anyhow just call the number or maybe carry worker and die inside the hospital. Thank you, Dumebi, for that uh, update where you bring from Kano State on top Lassa fever. Thank you, thank you. And for the next story, as Obunge government, they do everything for their power to pursue bad people come out from the federal capital territory. Security operatives don't they pursue criminals go where then they hide, plus including the one way then they clear bush, especially around areas where then they do over time. Was Obia Max TV correspondent Solomon and Dahi been done they do follow uh, be done they follow them bumper to bumper, or uh, especially the good work with security people they do as a join us live on top of the level. Okay, Ibla said we'll come back to Solomon when uh, we're done ready for the matter. Young people, hunters plus including community leaders and other joint body for Southwest region for Tuesday come out to give their support on top operation Amotekun. Una go remember say it never tell with six Southwest governors be meet come from Operation Amotekun to tackle kidnapping. People will be say their work now to they kill innocent people, what we will be call bandits and other criminal badness for the region. Inside Akure will be on the state capital. Youths do peaceful rally where then Gridai say Operation Amotekun don't come, be say it don't come and it don't come to stay. Inside Abiokuta will be the Ogun state capital. Youths under the name Yoruba World Congress also do rally for the popular Pansheke market. The group can show say, then they support Southwest governors on top of this Amotekun Waka with them form. Even as in the talk say, the security joint body with them form now to make uh, act or support police for the work where they do and nobody say they come to rub shoulder with Nigerian police. But for inside Lagos, the story they get as it be because police been blocked Ghani Fawahimi Park where they been planned to do the rally. Report talks say more than 20 police motor with Abwobi policemen will carry gun now then show face for the place to make sure say the group no enter the park. Lagos State Coordinator on top of the protest, George Akiola, for one interview with journalists talks say police no agree made the, made the group enter the venue even though say they don't pay money sake of to hire the park. But as it be, make we sharply join Solomon, make it tell us uh, what in police they do on top of the one we be said in the clear bush, pursue criminals come out for Abuja. Solomon, good afternoon. Okay, our dog has good afternoon. How your side? Uh, we thank God. Um, make you tell us, uh, uh, because we don't they do follow up on top of the matter, we be say police they clear bush because of criminals. Tell us more about them. Uh, Okay, thank you so much. Now, Douglas, if you remember for last week, I've been there for very close to the National Mosque for Central Area, where I've been sure as the police they take do some work to take come out some bush and some dirty dirty with bad guys where they don't go do robbery plus including kidnapping, thieving and other bad things. They go come and use those bush they hide after they don't run their package. Now I don't see Kari Waka as part of that same report and I did for Jahi 
Now, Jahina place where they very, very close to uh, Mabushi and they also close to Jabi area of We City. Now, for where are they now? now another place where they very, very notorious. Let me say, now place where people they fear not be small. So, they say for night, as we see like this, so this particular place, even where that man they stand and every, every, not be small. So, they say people they fear to go there because if they did there, say that they wait for moto, I be they won't go Kuba or where be this way, I be they won't go Wuso. Now, so they go just to say bad guys go just show back. I say when those bad guys self come, what thing they go do? We say they go carry knife or they go carry gun and they go by force by force carry their valuable. Then we say whether a laptop or a phone or anything they hold for their body. But now according by what we they hear from the FCT police command, all these kind of places like say they see say bush now there for this side, this one we deal okay. So they want make sure say they take big come out all these bad guys by clearing the bush and removing the different different kind of things where these where these bad guys they take use hide for where they enter. But for the reporter who don't get that one never start for here now if you remember for central area where i've been showing you that time that one they did not start declaring because you go see say police even did there as guys they cut bush and every every but this is another place where the hot spot where the toxic now place where they happen maybe small and for where would they see now no we like sake of say you see they see say bush day if you look you go see say different different kinds of still there so this one now they take it to them so that we go to identify the places where we believe say yes FCT police command for the good work what did they do but the, because people for this area they, they complain so we they still try to see how we will give them message so that they go fit to locate all these kind of places places like here jahi you know too far from kado estate and they're very very close to mabushi so now the report where i get for here and of course as i assure you say i go still go some other black black spots will be there for this fct so that i go fit see the progress see the movement see the danger where they if they don't clear the push and they don't clear the road to make the place safe for our citizens and our country people. Okay, Solomon, also tell them, make, uh, tell them, say, make them try clear the bush uh, where they for that Bolingo Junction because uh, bad people still they yeah. operate for that area. Yes. Yeah. Yes, a Bolingo Junction, Bolingo Junction, another place where we go see Kariwaka, close to National Hospital, another place where we go see Kariwaka. They get many places where there are black spots, and definitely we will carry Waka to go look the place so that as we look up, we will help police self to look up. Even the criminal self, if they know, say, we will look all these things, they might reduce how they come to these places. And hopefully that one will make life better, safer for we people with the FCT. Okay, thank you, Solomon, for that update where you give us of what the police they do for to pursue all the criminals with day for Abuja come out to go where they supposed they. And uh, make we enter politics now. Supreme Court judge talks say Samuel, or don't judge say Samuel Otum and Amadou Fintiri of People's Democratic Party, PDP, say that them be the Obonge governors where people elect by law for Benue and Adama State. For one judgment where one seven-man panel of justice for Supreme Court give, then confirm the judgment where tribunal and appeal court being give. Supreme Court come maintain say make anybody no tamper with the decision of both tribunal and appeal court. When they respond on top of the judgment, lawyer to Governor Fintiri Mohamed Magaji talk like this. Make we hear him. We appeared for Ahmed Fintiri, the governor of Adama State. We are excited that the judgment has come, and within a short time, the lawyers have been able to deliver a well considered judgment and have touched in all the facets of the students having to do with card reader, having to do coalition of results, within a very short time. We are so excited. For another separate interview with Tory people, Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Benue State, Sam Ode, talks say with this judgment now, Governor Otom gonna put all in mind will be to serve people with them elect them to do. It's a very sound judgment. The Supreme Court has only affirmed what the election of petition tribunal said and then what the Court of Appeal said. We are very happy, and uh, this is victory for the good people of Benue State, who first and foremost gave His Excellency Samuel Oton the mandate to lead the people of Benue State. So we thank God. Still on top Supreme Court judgment, last Friday Supreme Court judgment will force a Mecca Ihedio had come out for that top job for Imo State Government House. Plus the one where people they vex, they do with no go agree waka, this one has signed saying Nigerians on the lose hope and confidence with the judiciary system inside the country. One lawyer with the base for Abuja barrister Osiwe Momo, on top one interview with Wazobia Max TV, talks say the one will be say the current APC government they disobey court order and rule of law don't even make the matter worse as people they find them hard to believe the Supreme Court judgment will declare the AP, will declare say now APC candidate be the winner. Make we hear him. History of my life. 
I mean, I'm not as old as all that, but I've been here for a while. I've never heard that people are protesting a Supreme Court judgment. Never. Is this the first unpopular judgment? Is this the first? Why are people protesting? What kind of a country are we running? Why will people be on the streets? Why is every lawyer comfortable with the fact that people are protesting a Supreme Court judgment? It tells you there are people who have confidence. And if people who have confidence, well, let us go and, and do other jobs. Imo's election is such that um, many people they vex, you understand. And the vex is not just because uh, APC don't sit down there. Now say the margin where they win the first election, it too big. And APC, no be second, no. Another person did there. So if you can't say, okay, we don't see this matter now, as we see this matter now, uh, this one, Nail Fe, how you, you, where they down? How your hand is stretched, chair? Cast your mind back maybe 10 years ago. More Nigerians had confidence in the judiciary than now. The reason being that, you know, um, but whilst we had very reckless system. You know, I remember, I remember a time whereby a, a, a judge would pronounce something and, and they would say, I'm waiting to hear, I'm waiting to hear uh, uh, from president whether we will comply. Whether we will comply. That was very popular, you know, at, at the particular until the general. And then there was Mr. Yaradwa, God bless you, so wherever that man is. And he, he actually said, for what? Once a judge pronounced judgment, it becomes law. Sadly, think I'm more, sadly, it's like we're going back to before Yarada era. Barista Momo can the rap Nigerians, say make them show understanding, sake of say for law, then get procedure where court they follow whenever they want to deliver judgment. Say their judgment they follow evidence. That's why I beg Nigerians not to be very emotional when it comes to things as delicate as, 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 as judgment and all. The truth is that the Supreme Court, this is not something where we see, you see, courts have two things to do. Number one, courts, they look at the facts. Number two, court, they look at the law. The law. And not be judges, they write the law. As they say, and as so they go follow them. There is facts on the one hand, and on the left, there is law. Now, the reality of the matter is that, typically, me ordinary people understand, you know, normal, normal, typically, a trying judge, it, that is to say, the judge will be say, first do this matter. When we say trial court, the court will be say they're good. In this case, na tribunal, na be the trial court, na tribunal. In many cases, if you be magistrate or high court, na there the matter first go. Na the man will look this matter, say what's happen here. His, his duty is to marry, marshal out the facts. Do you understand? Bring out all the facts. Use law. Say, look up. Fact on the one hand, law on the other hand, mix them together, give you judgment. Now, what's called? They do not be boju boju. It's not magic. Do you understand? Now, the law where we say the Supreme Court can do, they excluded many votes from poly vote, from poly boots, many. And the person where the Lord of Estoc can say, no, 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 be no, be tribunal. Anything one I see, where we say polling officer, electoral side there, leave them. Once you go tribunal, now they go put, who be INEC? INEC no get power according to, to, to the law, to, uh, to council votes, no be tribunal. So if you get issue, Mr. Heineck, more than rich court. But you see, there were some votes that were void. And so in the trial court, that matter, they there, nobody open them. He go appeal, nobody open them. He don't call Supreme Court. Supreme Court say, why they come out this thing here? Why are they not count this vote? Next Supreme Court talk. They say, they're not counting because they say, no, 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 that's almost counting more. Take and join here. That's exactly what happened. And now make we enter Edo State Politics. Lawmaker where they represent a Do South Senatorial District, Matthew Rogide, don't tell People's Democratic Party inside the state. So make them see the one where we say one of their cajad members, Osage Izeyamu, moved from PDP to the All Progressive Congress APC as something where they suppose wake up and put their house for order. When they yarn, one on one with our correspondent Fidel Olseale inside Abuja, Senator Rogide, we no, we no deny say. Is a Iyamu they popular inside the state? Talk say politics in a game of numbers. He even talk say the rough rough fight where they happened between Governor Godwin Obaseki and APC National Chairmo Adams Oshomole means say no means say PDP don't win the state governorship election where they come for road. The Edo State lawmaker can the beg PDP leaders say make them use the opportunity to talk with one voice, especially sake of the 2020 governorship election where will soon happen inside the state. He can only agree the chances of the PDP 
if the PDP to put his house in order. All right? Uh, you know, PDP is my party, right? And I wish too that the, the platform, you know, was made stronger because of the seeming differences between, you know, the political gladiators in the APC and those states. I wish we could capitalize on it and get the maximum benefits. The fact that they're quarreling does not translate to victory for PDP automatically, okay? Because the majority of the people that will decide who becomes governor eh, in 2020, they are not in any of the parties. They are not in any of the parties. So they too, those ones, they are the ultimate deciders. Senator Uroi Day, we talk say, it will make sense to amend Electoral Act. Also talk say, only people where they vote for election will decide who go win or lose for any election. Whether INS is evil or not, can we change? I don't think we would have, would have been up with the uh, amendment of the Electoral Act before I do state, I do governorship election. But I'm confident before 2023, yes, we'll be able to, you know, perfect that act. Because everybody is zealous in National Assembly. But if we're able to do the amendment before the do elections, around June or thereabout, then it's going to be a work on development. So that any can impute that into their guidelines and whatever they're going to do in conducting that election. Otherwise, the way it is now, we are left with no option. They are going to go the same way they have been doing it. All right? I am very clear. If you ask me. I... When did they choke him out on top how Governor Obaseki they perform since three years now where he don't sit down for chair? The PDP senator can score him high, especially when it comes to matter where consigned education, investment, plus including economic development. I don't say things because I'm in opposition. I cannot criticize somebody you know, who is doing one thing that is of benefit to the people. I have seen some levels of subscription in the style of governance by the present governor. The greatest premium I have in my life on anything is education. That's the greatest premium. The area of investments, maybe because he's an investment, you know, was a financial expert. Eh? I have seen that the way it is. Somebody has gone and told say, human capital development. We must be able to develop entrepreneurship in the place. I can see that. So I'm not playing politics with it. But whether we have reached the mark, I have not been able to quantify that. That now person where they represent a dose south for National Assembly, Senator Matthew Urohide. And for the next story, government of Sierra Leone don't talk say, then they support President Muhammad Buhari on top of the one where we say he closed border for the meantime. They said the action don't make local rights plenty across West African countries. Sierra Leone High Commissioner to Nigeria, Solomon Gambe, now he this one for Tuesday when he been visits head of station for cool Wazobia Info stations, plus including Wazobia Max TV, Abuja. According by him, Nigeria will be giant for Africa, no go continue to spend plenty money they import rice when they feed produce inside the country. He said the one where we say Nigeria make up their mind to close border, don't allow people they look how they will take grow their own country and their economy. When did they I young? Just, I just mentioned here and like even the temporary closing of the border. He's doing prudent measure to handle the situation that is facing itself. But you have to look at this thing in the context of what happened in the past. Your mean, you, you see, we spend too much time on petrol dollars, petrol, petroleum, Forgetting. and we forgot the other areas. And now it's time for us to start identifying the other areas and still continue petrol, 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 petrol dollars. You did, notwithstanding these challenges, you still remain to be what the, the greatest economy in Africa. Africa. Imagine this: yeah. if you are thinking bad now that uh, our leaders did not do well in Nigeria, yeah. well, you know what? you still remain the greatest economy in Africa. That means it might be something that is within the same thing that we are going through in Africa. Even in my country, we just set up commissions of inquiry. You get me? Which the current president, the most dynamic guy you can think about, is, is so hungry to see us become a Singapore in Africa. He cannot believe that 7.5 million people we should be poor. It addresses the question which is endemic within the African context that a lot of our leaders, our, most of our leaders, are not concentrating on tampering down corruption. 
When the young head of station, James Expensive, can carry to Ali give the Sierra Leonean government sake of how then they follow the better work with Nigerian government they do, especially on how to improve agriculture and make sure they food plenty inside the country. Thank you to you, sir, for coming to our station, Cool Wazobia Info Max. As you know, uh, before now, we've been a very big brother. We've been a big brother to Sierra Leone and uh, we'll continue to be our brother's keeper and uh, we'll continue to push our continent, Africa, forward. We don't need to be slaves to other people or other continents. We have to come together, understand each other and build the continent because the continent is rich at mineral resources, including leadership at the same time we have a lot of intellectual property uh, running out of this country, being used in other countries of the world. We need to come back home, do the right thing, and take Africa to the permanent site. Thank you once again for coming, sir. And you still watch as it take happened on top of Zobia Max TV. We they come back with business news. Let us informate from people where they took eyes on top anything we consign pension will be National Pension Commission should say about 7 trillion naira of the 9.99 trillion naira pension fund asset that people with the manage pension will you they call pension fund fund and the administrators PFA don't invest them inside federal government securities. The information also reveals, say, as of November 30, 2019, the PFA raised their investment on top infrastructure to 40.52 billion naira. According by figures we then get for Tuesday, the 7 trillion naira we then put inside federal government security, they, pre they represent about 70.88% of total pension fund asset. When Sabi people, they do the mathematics, the information shows, say, even as federal government securities parquet lion's share on top pension assets, state government bonds and corporate bonds get balance of 29.12%. The mathematics and algebra show say the highest money will be 4.86 trillion naira, then put them for federal government bonds alone. It remains sports news when they come back. <laughs> And on top of the 2022 FIFA World Cup qualifier, they don't draw super eagles for Group C, we get Cape Verde, Liberia, plus including Central Africa Republic. Then do the draw for Tuesday for Carlton Hotel inside Cairo for Egypt. African champions Algeria find themselves for Group A with Burkina Faso, Niger Republic and Djibouti. Inside Group B, Tunisia, Zambia, Mauritania and Equatorial Guinea go show themselves on top who be who for the round later game when the time come. Group D, where people where they think no consign, don't describe them as group of death, get Cote d'Ivoire and Cameroon, and also Mozambique and Malawi, still follow for the group. Another tough group, that group G, we get Ghana and South Africa, and they go slug them out with Zimbabwe and Ethiopia. As the matter down the tie rapper, the 14 winners from first round go join African top ranked 26 sides for another draw. The Coco B say the qualifiers will kick start for October of 2020. Now the Tory be that, but make we tell you now our top Tory again. Lassa fever don't kill 16 people for Ondo and four inside Kano. We tell you say President Buhari don't condemn the killing of Khan chairman inside Adamawa with Boko Haram do. And Supreme Court don't tell governors for Benue and Adamawa states say make them carry go. And last last, states for Southwest don't do peaceful waka to support oppression and motekun. Now the size of our package be that and thank you say so you join us on top as it take happen. My name na, na Douglas. Una good afternoon. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.